I thought Iowa State was sensational. You know, they shot the ball at an incredibly elite level. And uh, I think when they get all their pieces, they're going to be a very, very dangerous team. Uh, with that being said, uh, there are so many things we've learned about our own team. Uh, one is that we are not a very good rebounding team right now. And uh, there were times where we would have three people standing under the basket and they would send one guy and end up with the ball. So we have to do better rebounding. And coaches always know you've got to recruit a rebounder, but that's not an excuse. If you don't have an elite level rebounder, you've got to get the guys you're, you have on the roster re rebounding better. And so that's something we've learned over this, uh, this uh, week here that we have to become a better rebounding team. The other thing we have to do is we have to get out and contest some three-point shots. I mean, three teams in a row shot incredible against us from three-point range. So we're not closing out tight enough. We're not dictating. People are towing the line on us and, and getting good looks at threes. So you're here to learn about your team. And uh, I said yesterday, I really like my team. And so I can't be a hypocrite today. And because we lost, say I don't like my team. I like my team. But there are things we have to get better at. We all know that. Uh, the team more than anybody. So I like my team. Uh, lesson learned, we have to get better. We all know that. Let's take questions for Matt. Mark, right side. Matt, how do you process it? This is, this is the worst loss in, I think, almost 20 years um, by a program that usually doesn't take big losses. Uh, how do you guys process that, and, and what do you think went wrong today? Um, I think we just got to learn from it. Uh, Coach said it, it was not a very good defensive uh, rebounding team. Um, I mean, every time they went, uh, it felt like they got the ball. Uh, we weren't just we just weren't putting bodies on on their bodies, and and what we just got to do is, is learn from it and moving on forward in practice and to the next upcoming games and and, and get better. Any other questions? Follow up. In terms of three point shooting, all, all three games, teams got out to a really, really hot start against you. Were they just making threes, or, or was there something you guys weren't doing? Uh, we just weren't closing out tight enough. Uh, all three teams got hot, but at the same time, we, we got to be there. And we know, we know we're a good defensive team. We know we can be, and we know our potential. But at the same time, we, we have to learn and excel, and especially in tournaments like these, and, and in which we want to be in and we know we can be in and, and play up to the level and the level of intensity that these gyms partake. Um, I feel like just moving on, we'll learn from it and we'll get a lot better. Anything else? All right, we'll let you get back to your team. We'll take questions for Coach now. Mark? Same question. Um, I mean, you guys have a history of not getting blown out, um, and you've taken two of your worst losses in, you know, since you've been at San Diego State. Uh, how, do you, how do you sort of get over that and, and process that? Got to use it as a motivator, Mark. You know, can't sit here and cry about it. Got to use it as a motivator to get the team better and test their pride a little bit. You know, I will say this, Jeremy Hemsley, and I used him as an example. We're, I mean, we're down 25 with four or five minutes to go, and you look up, and Jeremy Hemsley is playing as hard as any guard you've ever seen play at the defensive end. And I got on the freshman. I put you guys in for the last three minutes, and, and you're on an audition for me, and you don't meet that intensity from a senior that played all the minutes. And I used him as an example to show what is required if we're going to be great. And... Uh, I thought the only game that we won was a game we dictated defensively. We got into the ball harder. We set the tempo. Everything else, we were on our heels reacting to everything the other team did. And so lesson learned, we have to continue to be aggressive. Matchup-wise, you know, I, we were going to switch the five-man ball screens to start the game, so I put Matt on the five-man and Jalen on, on uh, the wing, and the wing went to work on Jalen right away. Hit a three on him, ran the baseline on him. And so maybe I set the tone by not having the right matchups, but I thought we had a good game plan. We just didn't execute it very well. Devon on the left side. Uh, Coach, I mean, a lot of things you're talking about, those are, you know, effort plays. Those are kind of things that, um, you know, are policed in the locker room sometimes with the players. How do, you, how do you poke and find those folks who, in that space, hold each other accountable for these kind of efforts and being consistent? 
you know, I had – I did talking after the game, but I was infor- I thought it was important to hear from the players. So I had Jeremy stand up, you know, talk to the team about what he felt. Just felt we had to compete harder. Uh, said we be- we got big brothered in the two games we played. We have to be tougher. We can't be the little brother. We have to be tougher. And then I had Devin stand up, and Devin's not one for a lot of words, so I had to coax it out of him. And he just basically delivered the message: we have to play harder. You know, and it's always easy to say hey, play harder. There's some strategy in there. There's being alert when you're on the floor, knowing where the ball is, play with your head on a swivel. Playing hard is just easy. Everyone says you got to play harder. So now we have to, to use that play harder to teach and say, how do we play harder? Is it getting up on the ball tighter? Is it picking up full court more? Is it overplaying a little bit? We're a gap defensive team. How can we adjust to what we do instead of just say play harder? You know, what, what things can we do to get better at and, and make it look like we're playing harder? Back to Mark. The injuries to your freshmen um, in the preseason uh, obviously have sort of started their growth a little bit, and you had a pretty short rotation at times here and, and probably some tired legs today. Um, how much did that hurt you, and, and, and how much do you need, you know, at least a couple of those freshmen to, to give you quality minutes going forward? Yeah, we have to get quality play from our freshmen. And I thought Nathan, you know, had some moments, but – missing a month of practice sometimes you watch him out there and and he can't get to where he's supposed to be or if he gets there it's that half second late where instead of grabbing the ball it falls to the other team so we've got to get him up to speed game minute wise and i think if we do that he'll continue to improve uh ag you know i like ag a lot we have to get him playing at the pace of the game a little better and that's just freshmen so i think they'll get better i like i said i thought the six veterans played pretty good for the most part and uh nathan had some moments in the tournament where I thought he looked like he belonged out there. AG's got to catch up, and uh, we, we have to just keep – you know, Adam Seiko obviously was a freshman, a retro freshman. I thought he gave us a good level of play off the bench. So we, we're, we are a work in progress, so we got to keep progressing. That's the key. We don't want to be a work in progress all year. We want to progress and be ready to play on Tuesday when we take the floor again.